Do you want to see one of my mid-journey workflows? Well, come along. Let's take a look. I am literally not sure how this is going to go, so just bear with me. I am experimenting with something new. So let's start with the obvious. I am working on Midjourney Alpha website, which is not available for everybody yet. However, it is coming and it will be released hopefully sooner than later. However, I don't want to do this on Discord because I have basically shifted all my work that I do on Midjourney to this alpha site and I barely use Discord right now. I do it when I want to use some tools that are for 5.2 and are not available for v6 yet. But I want to show you how I would go about hypothetically creating, for example, this particular series of different images of the same subject. And for this subject, I used the American Gothic, the famous painting, and this I just happened to run across this um, interesting um, style here, which is the manga style. And I'm actually using Niji here. So I am going to show you how I work through this and go testing different things and then picking some of the ones that I like the most. Here I am, by the way, working in the archive. Personally, that is my preference. I like to work from here. And I'm first going to just show you some of the things that I already ran here. And I tested a few different things. For example, I added neon colors here. But basically when I start with something, I add as little in the prompt as possible. I like my prompts short and sweet and to the point. And I'm basically just observing what I get. And here there is no particular neon colors or anything else added. It's just the style. And then I am using the Niji. Now in this one, I wanted to also add V6 because if I click here on my settings, you can see that right now I have version 5.2 selected, but I had V6, so it wanted to also slap V6 in there. So I changed it back to 5.2. The image size is square by default. So if I want to change it, I can change it from here, or I just add the parameters to the prompt because that just seems to be faster for my liking. So, and I'm using standard mode here. So let's take a look. So I just started already here and I ran a couple of these just to kind of take a look. And these ones with just the manga style and the Niji, they are very similar to the actual painting, right? And that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something not usual and common. These look a bit different here. I just said anime style and um, I'm still using Niji. Now, when I do this, I do this really quickly and I just keep running prompts. If I want to change things, I just click use prompt and then I go here and change some things. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add a cyberpunk style to this one, which I thought was pretty good. And right now I'm just generating them in square. Um, and by the way, here's a quick tip for you. This also works in mid, um, mid journey discord is if you hit if you're on a keyboard, if you hit the arrow button up, you will get the same prompt back again. So you don't have to go and click here in these uh, settings, use prompt again. So that's just a faster way for me to do this really quickly. And for example, now I can just say change here and see, uh, that's not how you spell manga um, here like that. And again, I can just do this several different times. Now I could also then add here parameters, let's say stylize and let's say 500, um, see what happens. And at the same time here on the side, you see that it's already generating these images. So I can go and start looking at already what these look like. Now, again, they are still fairly similar and not there's not a lot of difference. I really like the neon color in these. So I'm going to add the neon color back because I thought that made some cool settings. And I'm just literally quickly scrolling through those. I'm going to use the prompt again. And then I'm going to say, if I can type neon colors. And in this time, I don't use stylize. Stylize makes it less like an illustration and more like a photo. Like even in this one, it's starting to look more 3D-ish, if you will. So I am not going to use that one. Now, when I do this, by the way, also, I run these prompts numerous times. So I'm literally hitting the arrow up button and enter, up, enter, up, enter. There's other ways to do this, right? I can just do rerun prompt here as well. But because I'm already here, I just keep doing that. And then that way I get, um, it's just a fast work for, workflow for me, right? I mean, I can click rerun the prompt too, and it does the same thing. But what happens is it's running, rerunning this prompt here because I am on this screen right now. So that actually doesn't work 
um, unless I'm in the right screen. So here is now with the neon colors. And I really like there's some fantastic ones here. Um, so I'm just going to quickly scroll through and see if I spot anything that I might want to change or add. I really like this style. Um, these look fantastic. Um, one of the things that I'm looking at is if there's a lot of um, any artifacts, are they minimalist? Um, is there some other things that I don't really like? These are actually all pretty fantastic. Um, sometimes there's just a lot of action going on and I don't really personally prefer a lot of action. So these look fantastic and I could already see that I can pick a lot of um, these ones for depending on where I want to use it. Now, if I was doing a social media post from this, I would then potentially do different styles and showcase one with this cyberpunk style. I like this one. And then, uh, for example, I could do, and we'll do that in a second, a different style. I really like all of these. The other thing that I do, it depends again where I will be posting this. So I just started with the square one, but let's say I'm going to use this prompt, but I want to see what happens if I use a different aspect ratio. I am going to run it a few times with a different aspect ratio as well. And I'm going to do it both ways. So I'm going to do it the vertical and horizontal. I could also do it 916 and 169. Um, so let's look at that too. This is literally what I do with every single one of them, especially if I don't know where I'm going to use it or I have flexibility as to where I'm going to use it. Um, if I know I need a vertical video, then I will do it obviously 916 or two to three because that also works in some cases, depending on where you want to put it. Okay, so I just ran a bunch of those different ones. So I can just keep scrolling and I'm literally using my mouse and I'm using the mouse wheel and just scrolling up, which makes this fantastic. This is one of the, like my favorite things. And I wish other websites now had this as well because it makes life so much easier. And I can also click on the mouse button and look at this in full screen. And then I click again and it goes back. So the user experience is fantastic. Just a side note of this website. Um, like this one. I mean, I, I love a lot of these things. Here you see a little bit more action here in this jacket. I like more of that minimalist look. Now, if for some reason I am seeing a lot of this kind of extra lines and shapes and things like that, and basically artifacts, I can add some words to this prompt to make it a little bit less busy. Typically, if you add minimalism, you get it less busy. However, it doesn't always work sometimes. So I'm going to show you as an example. I still can't spell. Minimalist. And then I'm going to change this to, for example, simple. And this is because, for example, in the Mid Journey V 5.2 and 5, minimalist worked really well. Um, I so far have found that it doesn't work as well as it used to. Um, sometimes now also I find that if I write clean lines, it does a better job to make it a little bit less busy. And again, that's just my own preference. If you like it busier, then great. You don't need to do anything. But these are just some of the things that I make adjustments for. Now, this is the one that I accidentally ran the use prompt again. So it gave me this with stylized 500 and then that's a... Um, not the style that I was looking for here. But again, you could go for that too. Or I could even pick one of these as an example. So here's just now one with this two to three aspect ratio. So you can see that now you're getting the full body image here. And that's something else that I observe when I do these workflows and I run through these really quickly. I just see, and if I don't have a specific aspect ratio in mind, I take a look at what I get and then I can make uh, my picks of the size aspect ratio, depending on what I like. I also noticed that we are getting this kind of low angle shot in some of these vertical images. They still look, look fantastic, right? So it doesn't mean one is better than the other. I'm just simply just looking at what I get and going from there. Um, interesting, there's also two dogs in this, which is cute. And then we are going to see here, uh, how many of these did I run? Quite a lot. I like all of these, this, this style, I really like this style. Okay, here's now more of the horizontal three to two aspect ratio. That's where I was going with this. Um, also great, um, yeah, really like this style here. So we'll move away from this style. Um, basically in this point, I simply take a quick look at these things here and see what I get. 
just so that I can make adjustments now before I start running even more of these images. And so let's say that I really like this. This is actually 16.9. So, and you can see there's some black bars here, which again, is not necessarily a problem. I don't necessarily so far just quickly looking at this, like this 16 to nine aspect ratio as much as I like the three to two, for example. Some of these still look okay, but let's say I'm going with the um, three to two. So once I decide on that, then from now on, I'm going to use this prompt and I'm going to just change it to three to two. I'm going to run it again. And now basically I'm going to run this same prompt a few times, maybe like 10, right? I do this quite a lot to get the best images possible. So I might run 50 of these or hundred of these images and then just pick one or two. Now let's also change what we have here. So uh, let's add, um, what if this wasn't cyberpunk anime style? Let's say this is pop art style. Now, I do not want to use Niji, right? I'm going to use V6 and see what happens. Um, I'm still going to use neon colors. I'm also going to take out the clean lines. I ha left the clean lines um, in some of the other ones there, which doesn't really hurt, right? It looks pretty clean. Um, so I'm going to first see what it looks like without that. Pop art can sometimes be pretty busy also, so we'll see. So while that's generating, so I'm only generating one of those at first. So while that's generating, I'm now scrolling up on these images just to see what I get. Um, again, really quickly, just kind of keeping an eye on saying, oh yes, I like that one, I'll come back to that one. But not picking anything, not downloading anything. And again, this is just my workflow. Everybody has a different way of doing things. This is just a way that I can really quickly run through a lot of images and a lot of styles. Oh, that's interesting. This is the pop art. Now, starting from here. Okay, this is not exactly the kind of pop art that I was looking for. Uh, this is very, um, looks more like a photograph type of pop art. So I'm going to use this prompt and I'm actually going to change it to uh, V5.2 and see what happens with that. Um, as I'm thinking about what adjustments I would like to do. Now, could you use this style? Of course, if that's what you're looking for, right? Like it totally depends on what you want to go with and what your goal is. But let's say that I don't necessarily like this style. I'm like, ah, oh, that's not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for some other kind of pop art. So here is then um, pop art. And now I already specified that it was neon styles, but that's not really neon styles, right? Um, so it's not taking um, that particular prompt token into a lot of consideration. Now, the reason why you don't see the V5.2 here in this prompt is because it's the default. So there are a few other things that I can try here. Um, I can even take style out. Um, this is literally kind of a trial and error at this point. And obviously also what has potentially worked before and what may work now. I may also say modern, modern pop art. I may say simple, and then I'm going to see what I get again here. This is just pop art um, and no style in it. Now, really didn't make much of a difference. So I'm not super happy with this pop art style. Um, this is not happening for me. So I will need to make additional adjustments and see if I can make something else out of it. Now, one of the things I could do is I could add chaos, let's say chaos 20, and see if I can um, come up with some variety. However, if I want to have a more of a cohesive, consistent style for this, I would then not necessarily want to use um, a lot of chaos, but maybe it gives me, oh yes, maybe it gives me some interesting um, things. I can already see something here coming up on the side. This is where you can see when they're generating. Um, so it's still generating, that's why you don't see it yet. But now this is with the chaos 20 and this is v5.2 now let's also after i get done with this one i'm going to see what it looks like with um the um v6 so this is more of a funkier look which is what i was going for or hoping for oh i like this one here as well so that actually works better with the chaos so i'm going to run a few more with the chaos and I'm simply now clicking here, rerun a couple of times. 
Could I do even higher chaos? Sure, but I kind of like what I'm getting here, so I'm just going to keep that. Now, I'm going to now switch it to V6 and see what it gives me with that extra chaos. Meanwhile, again, I'm just going to scroll up. Many of these look very similar to the actual painting, right? So I'm not looking for that. I want something different. That's kind of fun. Um, again, ooh, totally different. Now this is more cartoon, and we could try that too. We could try a cartoon one. Uh, some of these have not generated yet. So let's say I'm going to use this one and I'm going to now, instead of saying the pop art, I'm going to say cartoon. I'm taking chaos out for right now. And I'm still doing this in V5.2. I'll just run it one more time, twice while we do this. Okay, and let's check out these um, chaos 20. It's interesting. Yeah, many of these are very similar, but I could go like this is cool, right? This is the kind of the style that I was looking for. Um, pop art. Um, that's interesting as well. I like this one. So there's some things here that I could use again for my purposes, what I was thinking about. Oh, like this too. Um, completely subjective, not, you know, everybody's cup of tea, what I choose and what you would choose. But that's what also makes it fun. So here is one with the cartoon. And this is with 5.2. Okay, not a lot of difference here. Um, ooh, this is fun. And that was not with chaos. Now I'm going to do this with V6. And then while we are waiting, I'm going to now do this in, let's say, gothic. Oh, no, let's not do gothic because it already has gothic in it. Let's do psychedelic for example. Now, typically, I don't even need to add neon colors. And as you can see, I'm keeping this prompt super, super short. Like, I could add other things here and keep going, and it can make wonderful different things, but I like to keep my prompt short, and specifically for this particular um, running through this workflow purposes. I'm trying to keep it simple and I'm already going a lot slower than what I would go normally, right? I would just fly through this stuff, but I'm trying to explain what I do as I go and hopefully it helps you see how I do these things. Okay, I do like this V6 style. Um, that is interesting. Um, I'm going to run another one of these. Rerun a couple of times. I could also add chaos again. I could add some other, you know, for example, flat design um, or some other things. Interesting. Psychedelic didn't really do anything. Let's add the V6 and see what happens. Here is the cartoon with V6. Oh, yes. I could totally use some of these. Now, as you can see, some of these have actually the house behind or the church behind. If I wanted to be more specific, I could then say that I want to have the portrait and that would make it better. But these are great. I could totally use some of these. Um, interesting. Uh, this is still psychedelic with V6. Ooh. Oh, what, you know what else? I'm going to also add. So I'm going to add the neon colors. See what happens. And then I'm also going to add, um, not the neon colors, but I'm going to add um, the real. And I'm using the V6 now because now I'm seeing that the 5.2 is giving me very similar images. So I'm shifting now and continuing with V6 for right now until I see if I need to make adjustments again. And basically I do this and iterate until I get to a point where I will then find the setting that works. And then I literally rerun that 10 to 25 times to get the about 100 of these. Uh, now you can see here that these are a bit blurry here. Now I could upscale here or I could take it, for example, to Magnific and upscale later. And again, I'm getting the church here. So I can see that I may want to prompt and uh, make sure that I get um, the portraits instead of the, ooh, this is cool, instead of the church itself. Different. So this is psychedelic surreal. Actually, this all are. That's interesting. Okay, let's use this one again. I'm not necessarily super happy with these ones. Um, let's say, for example, um, vapor, 
wave or wave aware. And see what happens with that. And then at the same time, I'm going to basically I'm changing this. Now, could I do um, permutations? Yes, I can even do it here. So I could do um, neo noir, for example. I'm just randomly coming up with something. Art nouveau. Um, Art deco. And then I just close that and then I go. And now it's going to run every single one of those for me, which makes it nice. So I'm going to show you here this as well. So I can go to the create site now. So I could do it here as well. And it's literally going to create them here. So it's working on it right now. And these are the latest ones. I just like this view because I can quickly look at it. So the archive looks like this, but then I can just go, you know, and work through here as I did. So this was the psychedelic with the neon colors. So, you know, we already looked at these things here. And then here I said vapor wave. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Yes, I like this one. Um, different, interesting. Uh, neo noir. Uh, that looks a little creepy, maybe. Uh, that's a good one. So that's giving me different styles here that I could now play with. Um, art deco. Interesting. Um, retro future futurism. I'm on guard. And again, I could add other things here to just make things much more different. Now, let's say I'm now done with this and I have um, about five or so images that I want to use for my social media post or for my project, whatever it is. So now I would go for each of the styles that I've made and I would then pick some of those. And what I want to do in this kind of case where I have a variety of different styles. I want to showcase the capabilities and the breadth of what Midjourney is capable, for example. So I would want to pick very um, contrasting things. So like this one here, I like the Neo Noir. So here I would just go and click download and it's going to start to download. Um, you just can't see it because I have a full screen here. And then I get out of this one again and I would just scroll. Sometimes I scroll individually. So I'm here and then I just scroll. I like this one as well. So I'm going to download that one. I like this one. I'm going to download that one. Um, now I don't want to download. Well, I may download more than one of each, but at the end of the day, I want to just use one of each style. So that's going to be the criteria for me to actually then use them wherever I'm going to use them. So this is taking me longer to go it this way. I would do it if I did it myself, just flying through them. But let's just look at this real quickly um, this way here. I like this one. So I'm going to select that one. That was a cartoon one. This one's pretty good too. So sometimes I download more than one and then I just evaluate them once I've narrowed it down to just a couple. Oh, I think I like that one too. <laughs> now I have too many options. Okay, I'll download that one too. And this is pretty good too. Okay, and then let's say this one's interesting, completely different again, right? This is the pop art. So I'll download that one. Uh, here's the pop art. This one I liked. Um, so now I already remember what I liked from before. So I can kind of quickly go back to that um, as needed. And then let's say now we're done with all of this stuff here. This is still the pop art. I'm going to skip that one because I got a good one for pop art. And then the hard decisions, because this is literally my favorite. And I will be using this in many other things as well. So while I'm doing this, I'm noting that this is something that I really like, this style with the cyberpunk and then this anime and Niji type of action going on here or this style. So I will definitely use this in many other things too. And I could literally do a, a whole series of this a variety of different things. So here I'm just going to pick, oh gosh, this is going to be really difficult. <laughs> I like this one. Uh, I may have more than one download on these. Uh, this one is cool too. This almost looks like Keanu Reeves here. Um, interesting. Yeah, I could pick so many of these. These are great. This is fantastic. All right. So that is how I go about selecting what I select um, and creating a this whole workflow while I have a certain goal in mind 
And this is how I currently use it with the Midjourney Alpha that is available for me to use right now and soon for everybody. Um, it just makes life super easy and I can fly through a lot of these creations very, very quickly. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if this is of interest, give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comments that you like to see these types of workflows and I will do more of them. Thanks so much for watching.